So it appears to be, according to articles surfacing everywhere in the past few days, along with insider reports, that a 12-team playoff model leads the way. And to be honest here, I was totally not expecting this. I was expecting an 8-team or 16-team model, and I wasn't expecting the committee to talk about this this soon. And I have also heard within the past few minutes that the committee is going to be discussing it openly, may openly in the next week, which is a shocker to me too. I thought this wouldn't happen for a while. I'm glad it's happening. Um, I'll talk about my opinion on the result though, because it isn't necessarily, I'm not necessarily glad about the outcome, but I just want to talk about that and um, talk about what I think the outcome will be and how that outcome will differ from what many people expect. Now, the reason, and many of you know this, the the reason why people want to change the four-team playoff is because it seems that you always have Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, Ohio State, and if one of them isn't in there, you know, throw in Notre Dame and, and occasionally some other team that gets absolutely blown out in the semifinal, unless you're LSU. But that's really what this has really been about. And that's what pe- why people want the playoff to change. That's why the pe- they want it to expand. And that's why people hated the BCS system in a certain way. Because they felt like there could be more teams that could contend. Look at TCU in 2010. Some think they may have competed with Auburn better instead of Oregon. Look at um the mess of 2011 and like how you got two teams from the same conference to play in the national title and both teams were probably the best two teams in the country but also look at what would have happened if a game in 2011 changed depending on the outcome and the knowing of the BCS rankings the national title game was basically guaranteed to have one or two SEC teams anyway and depending on how things played out, if Arkansas beat LSU or if Alabama or if Alabama lost to Arkansas but then beat LSU and all these other factors, and if maybe LSU loses to Georgia in the SEC championship game and Arkansas beat them beforehand, we could have seen two SEC teams in that national title game in 2011 who didn't even win their conference division which would have been insane, and that's totally possible. I'll link the article explaining that monstrosity below. And then he got 2012, where Notre Dame got blown out, and et cetera, et cetera. And you got all these different cases as to why people wanted to expand the playoff. So they expanded the playoff. Alabama still won several national titles. Clemson won some. Alabama continue continues to win ohio state won one lsu won another and basically every team from the bcs era that was already doing well won a national title except for clemson and that was because of a coaching change so now here we are with the playoff the four-team playoff and we're looking to expand it now what is ultimately going to happen is it's going to be the same results, most likely. There will be some differences. There will be some upsets at the lower level um, against teams that are probably overrated or not known to be dynasties. But Alabama's not going to be going anywhere until Nick Saban retires. And Clemson isn't going to go anywhere until Dabo Swinney falls off or retires. This is how college football works. Dynasties don't disappear because they play more teams. Now, playing more teams increases your probability to lose, but that doesn't mean it's going to prevent teams who are good to, (laughs) you know, it doesn't mean it's going to prevent teams who are great from winning a national title. That's not what this is going to do. Expanding this playoff to 12 teams, and this is why I don't like the 12-team playoff, 12 teams is a a lot. That's three more times than the current amount. You expand it to 12 teams, you're going to get three, you're going to get three teams, maybe even four from the same conference. And it, that same, that like three or four teams from the same conference will alternate between conferences, depending on the polls and bias and, and rankings as well. 
and you're just going to constantly get that. I mean, even with an eight-team playoff, the Big Ten would have gotten likely four teams in the playoff in 2016, and the SEC would have gotten a decent chunk as well in many other years. So you'd still have plenty of Power 5 teams, a lot of the same old, same old. Maybe Michigan, Wisconsin, Penn State would get in the playoff, but only to again utterly be embarrassed by more elite competition. Because again, and this is another argument against it, um, number one and number two are far better than number eight and number nine, most likely. The drop-off of talent, of coaching, of how good a team is, is huge at the initial top ten. Number one and number 10 are very different, and are, are arguably they're more different than number 10 and number 20, more often than not, especially when it comes time to the playoff rankings. And speaking of the playoff rankings, getting a group of five team in will still be a very, uh, an, an extremely tough and grinded out challenge, because Look at last year. Cincinnati was undefeated. They played a ranked opponent. They won their conference championship, and they were still ranked below Florida, who had three losses and um, lost to a five and five LSU team. I mean, the the bias of the, by the committee rankings is known to everyone and it's not bias like for the good teams it's rather bias against teams who aren't in the power five um and the reason i say it's not biased toward teams like alabama and clemson is there have been several years where alabama and clemson were ended up being the national champions and they were ranked below um much inferior power five competition um, 2016 Clemson being a great example, same with 2017 Alabama. It's just how it is. The committee doesn't like group of five teams. And a 12-team playoff, while that may fix it, you're not going to get a group of five team in every year unless you guarantee the group of five teams a spot. And I don't think that that's right. Because what if the top group of five team isn't even ranked in the top 20 or the top 15 and what if they're absolute garbage and they just get blown out repeatedly and repeatedly it should be it there should be no guarantees of getting in unless you are ranked in the top 12 top 8 or whatever how many teams you need to get in now that's just my opinion and you can disagree with that but now I'm going to read an article about um, just people's opinions, and I'm going to leave um, read an article from 11warriors.com. Um, I'll put the link to that in the bio as well. Um, title, 12-team model reportedly most likely as college football playoff continues expansion talks by Kevin Harish on June 8th, 2021 at 1127 a.m. An expanded college football playoff seems inevitable at this point, but the leading expansion model might, might not be quite what most expected. According to Pete Thamel, or Thamel of Yahoo Sports, a 12-team model seems to be the most likely result at this time based on conversations with university officials, athletic directors, media executives, and others around college sports. The primary reason for favoring a 12-team model over an 18-team model seems to be that 12 allows for automatic bids while still offering more at-large bids. And this is exactly what I don't want. Automatic bids, I mean, it, it that automatic bids in a certain sense will make it more like entertaining or kind of like an arcade college football because what if like a small school or a like what if an 8 and 4 Northwestern beats Ohio State in the championship game, the Big Ten championship game, and Northwestern isn't even ranked, and they get to go into the playoff as like the number, uh, like not even top 20 team, and they get in because of an automatic conference bid. That would be the ultimate Cinderella team, but Cinderella teams at some point, like in March Madness, the wheels come off and they get bested by a top opponent. And it seems to be, too, what most people want is they want to, to 
they they honestly think that these group of five teams can constantly compete with better competition. Sometimes they can, but oftentimes they they can't. I'm going to continue reading here. The 12 team model would give each Power Five champion an automatic bid along with the highest ranked group of five team. Though the details are far from finalized, the thought is that the top four teams would then get a buy, and seeds five through eight would host seeds nine through 12 at on campus sites. The rest of the games could then be played at neutral site bowl sites, at neutral bowl, bowl game sites. And it's worth noting that no formal change or recommendation has been made, but that could happen in the next couple of months, yada, yada, yada. And, like, this is, I don't even know what to think about that. I'm not a fan of the automatic bids thing, and I think that, I think 12 teams is too much, because with 8 teams, 4 teams already put some of the bowls in jeopardy. What you could do with 8 teams is 8 teams... You could, with eight teams, you could still keep the integrity of the bowls, and maybe what you do is you have the Rose Bowl, you have the Orange Bowl, you have the, you have like all of the bowls, and you match up the teams based on, um, what like they, what their original ties were. Like the Rose Bowl can only host Pac-12 and Big Ten if you, if you have a Pac-12 and Big Ten team. But that could even get complicated as well. So that's just my opinion on all this, and um, <laughs> what I'm from what I'm reading is people just saying too big, way too big. Again, this is from Eleven Warriors, and there's arguments about this. I, this this is pretty controversial, I think, because no one was really expecting twelve teams. It was either eight or sixteen, and people are like, "Whoa, twelve? Then people have to get a bye week. And what would happen to the the, the student athletes too? Because like a bye week would only prolong this as well. It, it would add another week, and you can't just keep adding and adding and adding to college football. I mean, you kind of can, but these student athletes are still students for now, and they should still be treated as such until that maybe changes in the future. So I don't really know. That's just my thoughts on this whole thing i prefer the eight team playoff i do want the playoff expanded and i want it to be the top eight teams with um bcs computer system rankings combined with human polls to kind of cancel out the human bias but also use human knowledge on the subject so we just don't go by win totals that could have very weak um weak schedules and i think it should be top eight teams no automatic bids again computer and human combined ranking systems and that's just what i would want and let me know down in the comments what you think the playoff should be expanded to whether it should be kept to what it is now or even more boldly should we return to the bcs system and just have 1v2 let me know in the comments below and that's all I have to say for today. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can watch more of my videos, get notified when I post a video, and just enjoy the channel even more. Again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you around.